All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Monster Menagerie. Um, in this episode, I'm going to be building an exhibit for the cockatrice, um, two cockatrice actually, which I think is probably um, about time since it is the creature on the thumbnail for the series. So, yeah, uh, I'm pretty pleased with this exhibit actually. One of my favorites I've done so far in this series um, up to this point. Just a little bit more detailed, I feel, than the, uh, the previous few that I've done. Um, and also, uh, seeing as it is Halloween today, when this video is going up, um, happy Halloween everyone. Um, hope you guys have fun doing whatever it is that you choose to do, whether that be uh, trick-or-treating, going to a party, um, whatever it is people do on Halloween. <laughs> Personally, for me, it's just a day to eat lots of candy. That's uh, what I enjoy about it. Um, certainly too old to be trick-or-treating. Um, not that there's never ever necessarily uh, an age that's too old, but I know I am at that age, <laughs> regardless of what age that may be. So yeah, just going to be uh, hanging out, eating candy, um, probably watch a few horror movies. That's that's what I got going on. So, whatever you guys do, make sure you uh, stay safe, obviously. But yeah. So, what am I doing here? Um, building this little enclosure or uh, sort of gateway thing into the exhibit for the zookeepers, which I think turned out pretty cool. Um, it's very simple, but it uh, it serves its purpose. Uh, the exhibit itself is sort of. It's got that rock wall in the background. I wanted to put some trees behind it that really didn't fit with the way the um, the border of the zoo works. So I decided just to fit them inside and use the rock wall as the backdrop, and it works well enough. So uh, pretty dense foliage, just sort of a overgrown forest look. Um, it turns out pretty good, I think. Uh, I like these trees a lot, the ones I'm using right now. So I think they're actually technically a prehistoric tree, uh, but I don't think that really matters, considering that um, though they look good enough to be modern trees as well. So then I like these little patches of ferns. Don't remember where I got those either. <laughs> they were in some sort of pack with another bush or something, but I think they wor work pretty well, especially if you put them together in groups like that. When you have one just sort of standing on its own, it looks a little bit awkward. Um, but I like them like this. So, And the colors are muted enough where it doesn't look too bright. That's the problem with a lot of the a lot of plants I've noticed. Uh, they can tend to look too bright, which uh, doesn't work in a lot of situations. Uh, I also notice when I'm watching other people play this game that people tend to use a very limited palette of, uh, of foliage. Um, not necessarily, <coughs> excuse me, necessarily in each individual exhibit, but just like in the zoo in general, like from zoo to zoo, like they're like, it tends to all look the same because they use like the same few um, ferns and trees and um, and all that. Where I think think it's better to try and really mix it up, especially um, from zoo to zoo, which is easier for me because I tend to do uh, just themed zoos. I don't like to do not that I don't like to do, but I just don't really do general zoos with just all sorts of animals in it. I don't really do that. Um, I did it once with the uh, was it Crystal Springs, um, which turned out good. Um, I liked that, but I don't think I'll be doing another one like that anytime soon. Just because I prefer to do the theme zoos. And here we have the actual tour part of the of the video where you can see the cockatrice or the giant chicken lizard bat as it looks like to me <laughs> if you combine those three um, I like the model actually probably my favorite um, paranoia model I've seen because it actually looks pretty good considering the generally the skins on the in the pack are not the best but I gotta say these are pretty good particularly the the head and the way they move, I like it a lot. So, definitely a fan of these. There's something I'd use um, beyond just this series. Um, 
yeah. So, um, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah. For the next episode, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might do uh, the Loch Ness Monster. That's very possible. I still wanted to do that Jaws exhibit, but then I was looking through my mods, and I couldn't find the, the Megalodon. I'm not sure I have it anymore. I might have gotten rid of it, which seems weird. I don't know why I would have done that. Uh, but I could just use a regular Great White and instead, because it, it probably would look fine. But we'll see. Maybe I just missed it. So we'll go back and check. I could always re-download it, but I don't really feel like downloading my new mods right now. Because uh, I'm going to be getting a new computer in the near future, probably after the holidays. And uh, at that point, I'll probably re completely re vamp and change my mod list and all that so but anyway this is going to be the end of the episode here guys uh thank you very much for watching have a happy halloween and i'll see you all in the next one